transgender people tend to have the brain structure that confirms their identity that they identify with. And you can look that up. That, that's I, a fact. I will look that up. Yeah, it's a fact. I will it's look that up and I will find it. <laughs> yeah. It's not a fact. Oh. It's not a fact. Should we all pull out Google really quick and look? Um, so you're saying a trans man has the brain of a woman? No. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing great wherever you are in today's video. We're diving into a heated debate between Matt Walsh and a trans activist, tackling the serious issue of suicidality within the trans community. Let's get into it. So you've talked a lot about the mental illness and depressed and anxious population in the trans community, but you don't talk about the happy people in the trans community and how these preventative measures of, let's say, like puberty and the surgeries that go for gender affirmation and how these are life-changing and life-saving. I know so, so many people... How do you know? Oh, okay. One second, if I can finish my conversation. Um, <laughs> okay. Many people in my life have had these interventions made and it's saved their lives. I can list dozens of people in my life. So what do you have to say for... You can, you can list dozens of people who had surgeries and drugs as children and would be dead today if they hadn't? I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Dozens of people who have had interventions, including gender affirming, let's say therapies, um, yes, hormones, surgeries that have made their lives better. I'm not saying it didn't force them to commit suicide, but it made their lives better. What do you have to say for the happy trans community? Uh, I guess I would, I would throw back at you first, uh, because the burden of proof is on you on this one. And I'll explain why the burden of proof is on you. Because as I went over in the talk, um, for thousands of years, human beings existed, and there was no such thing as trying to medically transition people into another gender. And as far as we know, there was no suicide epidemic because of it. And then in the last few years, people like yourself have come along and said, we desperately need to do this or people will be in despair and they might kill themselves. So you are making a claim that contradicts common sense, science, biology, also the entire experience of the whole history of the human race. And so what that means is that the burden of proof is on you to support it. And so I'm going to ask you, you said that people need this stuff so they can live happier lives and potentially to, it'd be life-saving, you said even. Aside from your anecdotes of your friends who told you so, how do you know that? Okay, so um, thinking back to when I was 16 in an anatomy class, when I learned that um, transgender people tend to have the brain structure that confirms their identity that they identify with. And you can look that up. That, that's I, a fact. I will look that up. Yeah, it's a fact. I will it's look fact. that up and I will find it. <laughs> yeah. It's not a fact. Oh. It's not a fact. Should we all pull out Google really quick and look? Okay. Um, so you're saying a trans man has the brain of a woman? No. So this girl whips out her phone and says, yeah, I'll just do a quick Google search. But then, searches for absolutely nothing. And honestly, you can tell nobody's buying it. Matt's clearly over it. The guy next to her is unimpressed. And even this older lady in the background, who comes from a generation that dealt with some real problems, isn't having it meanwhile. The girl is just laughing it off after making the outrageous claim that a man can be born with a woman's brain. At this point, people are looking at her like, really? And they're rightfully calling her out on it. And hey, I'm no fashion critic, but if I were going into a debate with someone who really knew their stuff, and I knew the cameras were rolling, you can bet I wouldn't show up in a tie-dye dolphin shirt just saying. I'm saying that a trans man who identifies as a man will tend to have similar brain structure that a cis man would. And where did you get that from? Look it up. I, it's okay. literally, I, I'm telling you I learned it from my anatomy class when I was I... 16. And I looked up the fact before I walked up here because I knew that you'd ask. Okay. Um, that's not true, but it also doesn't answer the question. So let, let's try to stay focused on one false claim at a time, if we can, because we, we might get bogged down. Okay. So you said, you actually started by saying that blocking puberty, which is chemical castration of a child, 
Just is, as one example, yeah. Yeah, is life-saving. It can be. How do you know? Because there are children who have been suicidal that have had these interventions made. What children? How do you, how do you know? How, how many children have had that done me personally, and then I are still suicidal? Me personally, I haven't met children. Me personally, I haven't met enough trans children to answer that question. You, okay. But I know you that are the making, research exists. You're making this statement. You're stating it as a fact in front of all these people. There must be a reason. There must be something that you encountered that, that led you to this rather radical conclusion that to save a child's life, you have to chemically castrate them. Not Lupron, no, me, sir. Okay, well, that is what you just said. The drugs we give to kids for, for puberty blockers, so-called puberty blockers, originally are, are cancer drugs used to treat prostate cancer. They're also used to chemically castrate sex offenders and child rapists. Now we give them to physically healthy kids. You're saying that we need to do that or they will die. And so one last time I'm going to ask you, what evidence do you have of that remarkable claim? I don't think I claimed that every child would benefit from that. Well, no, I didn't uh, say you did. And, okay. You, you well, said you, the puberty no, you blockers did. are you, you, did. Um, you said puberty blockers are life saving. What evidence do you have they, for that? They can be. Um, so, the how evidence do you know? is the encounters with patients who have had these procedures done, and it has saved their. I don't want to say it saved their lives, but it has made their lives better. I can't confirm whether or not they're alive right this second, but there are children that it has helped. So what do you have to say for the happy trans community who has benefited from these procedures? That's my well, question I guess what for I have you. to say is that your entire question is built on a whole stack of false premises that you, that you can't begin to even remotely defend. So uh, I, it's, it is a, it's a faulty question from the start. I, I reject your premise. I, I absolutely reject that there are any kids who need to be chemically castrated in order to be happy. Okay, 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 let's... I reject that. I'm saying that right. a trans so man who identifies as a man will tend to have facts. similar Fact. brain structure the kicker. that a cis man would. Evidence this time. She says something and like, where did you get that from? It's life saving. Look it up. And when Matt I, it's, it's literally, I, I'm telling you, like, I learned uh, it from I don't know, my anatomy sure class when I was 16. I, and I looked up the fact saving. before I walked up Wait, here because I knew that you'd ask. It was life. Okay. Saving um, for kids. And she backpedals. Well, I never said that's kids, but that's what I'm not told. true, but it also doesn't Come on, answer the question. The so let, let's try to stay focused on one in this community false claim at a time. If we can we might get bogged down. Okay. So you said one to your 30 you actually started by saying that blocking puberty, which the is chemical castration of a child, just as one example, yeah, yeah is life saving. It can girls. be. It's How do you heartbreaking. Know? Instead because of there are into children who have been suicidal be that have these had these interventions no right made. Wrong what children? Be a boy How, do you, How do you know? How, how many children have had that done me personally, and then I are still suicidal? Children. For a me personally, I haven't and met yes, enough trans children to answer the question. Is you, okay. But I know that making, this research exists. But the numbers are nowhere near you're making this statement. You're stating it as a fact in front of all these people. There must be a reason. There must be something that you encountered that led you to this rather radical conclusion that to save a child's life, you have to chemically castrate them. Not Lupron. No, no, sir. They need okay. to go through puberty well, that is what you just said. Proper brain development. The drugs we give to kids for, for how puberty blockers, so-called puberty blockers, girls, originally are, are take cancer drugs used to treat prostate cancer. Unnatural They're also used to chemically castrate sex offenders and child rapists. Now we give them to physically healthy kids. And depressed You're saying that we need to do that to or they will die. Relationship. It's so one last time I'm going to ask you, what evidence do you have of that remarkable claim? by psychologists. Who are probably I don't think I claimed that pharma. every this has child a massive industry. would and these benefit kids from that. Are the well, of no, I didn't say you did. And, okay. You, 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 know, said you said puberty blockers are, uh, blockers are life saving. Kid. What evidence I said do you they, have for that? They can be. And while I get um, that so the evidence is the encounters with patients who have had these procedures done, and it has saved their. I don't want to say it saved their lives, but it has made their lives better. I can't confirm whether or not they're alive right this second. Remember to but like, there are children comment, that it has helped. Keep it so what do you have to say for the happy the trans community who has Everyone benefited from these procedures?